Yeah, uh, good morning from once. Now, today's lesson, we are going to cover on uh, GCD. A question on GCD and this application of GCD. And GCD means greatest common divisor. So the question is already provided here. The question is already provided. And it's a very crucial question in Form 1. So, uh, and the question is like this. The LCM of two numbers is 180 and the GCD is 12. So if one of the number is 36, find the other number. Find the other number. So in this case, you are finding the second number. So you have the, the LCM, the LCM of the two numbers is 180 and GCD is 12. And the GCD is 12. Then one of the numbers is 36. One of the number, number one of the number there is 36. So let's say the second number is K. Let's say the second number is K. We give it letter K. Give it letter K. So step number one, express the LCM, the GCD, and the first number, which is 36, in prime uh, in, in its prime factors so therefore you make a uh, you factorize 180 related in terms of its prime factors so you start with the first prime number which is 2 180 divided by 2 that's 90 90 divided by 2 that is 45 45 divided by 3 now that's 15 divided by 3 that is 5, and then divided by 5, you get 1. So therefore, our number 180, 180, which is SEM, in prime factors, it is 2 times 2, which you can write as 2 power 2, 3 power 2, and times 5. That is 180. That is 180. So that is this 2 power 2 means 4 times 3 power 2, 9. That is that is 6 times 5, you get 180. Then you come to this GCD. The GCD, which is 12, is 2 power 2 times 3. That's 2 power 2 times 3. So then you come to the number that is 6. The number that is 6 is 2 to power 2 times 3 power 2. Once you express that is 6 in its prime factors in power form. Once you express that is 6 in prime factors in power form. Then you get the number K. You get number K. We are looking for this second number. Now, one in GCD. When you want, you are dealing with the GCD. GCD we mean uh, greatest common divisor. And LCM is the least common multiple. So we can start with the GCD. We can start with the GCD. So for GCD, when you want to get the GCD of two numbers, where one of the numbers is at six, and in power form, we have two power two times three power two. You start with the with twos. You check because in GCD, the two, the one that is in GCD must be common in the two numbers, in the latter six and in the second number. So this one, there's two to power two in the GCD. In the GCD. Check the number that is six. Number that six. So that six has two to power two. Therefore, this 2 to power 2 in the, in the GCD is coming from data 6. It's coming from data 6. That's the first option. It's coming from data 6. Then you check, uh, you check LCM. For LCM, we have 2 to power 2 again. Again, 2 to power 2. So 2 to power 2 meaning is the highest power in LCM. Again, it is 2 to power 2. In GCD, it's 2 to power 2. Data 6 has 2 to power 2. So number k must have a 2 to power 2. Because in GCD, we take the lowest power, but common. The number is the lowest power, but, but that number must be common. And in LCM, you take the highest number, the highest, uh, the number with the highest power. That is, and the highest power is 2, and the lowest power is still 2 to power 2. So therefore, our k has 2 to power 2. That is k times you are through with number with, with twos. 
you go to three now. You go to three. You check the GCD. The GCD has times three. So meaning, GCD because it is greatest common divisor, we must have a three in number k or in all the numbers in data six and in k. And in GCD, we take the lowest powers. The number with the lowest power but must be common. If it is two, all the twos are there. If it is three, the three must be there. So the only difference is the power. So therefore, we have we have three. We have times times three. So there's three. So our k must have a three. Our k must have a three. Our k must have a three. So therefore, there's three in the GCD. Check the number. Our number has that the six has three power two. So this three power two is not coming from this this three is not coming from from that six because three is the lowest power. Now that six has three power two, which is a higher power than three power one. So you check this three. So it is not coming from this. So it must be coming from this three must be coming from k must be coming from k from now from k because it is the lowest power because that six has the highest power. So if you go to LCM and con, con, uh, and check this, and check the this, we have three power two in the LCM, which is the highest power, where this three power two is coming from that six because that six has three power two. So in LCM, you are supposed to take the highest power, the highest power, the number with the highest power. So this three power two is coming from this. So therefore, this three, this three in the in the GCD is coming from K because this one in the LCM is coming from 36. Therefore, the 3 in the GCD is coming from K. It's coming from K. Next, one is, you are doing the GCD. Now you are only left with, with this 5. And even that 6, you are doing that 6 because it doesn't have any other factor. It has 2 and 3. 2 and 3. So, then when you go to LCM, LCM is 5. This 5 is not coming from that 6. Automatically, and 5 is the highest power of the two numbers, where it is times 5. So therefore, our number k, our number k must have a 5, because 5 is the highest power. So the value of k is 2 to the power 2 is 4, times 3, times 5. 4 times 3, that is 12, times 5, that is 60. So the required number, second number, is 60. The required number is 60 in this case. The required number is 60.